can't be edited, which is unfortunate for the protagonist, but makes for a goldmine of secondhand embarrassment. And today, we've compiled the very best. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Some news segments are made to be a little too overdramatic, and it's hard to hold back the laughter even for seasoned reporters. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his <laughs> I'm Luann Khan with the NBC 10 Investigators. We're Who am I chasing? <laughs> so sorry. This quick-thinking reporter wasn't going to let anyone mess up his segment. News presenter Kerry Johnson was left feeling a little red-faced after a late-night broadcast. Good evening. Tonight I am going to sound like a drunk. It seems like this news reporter knows something about the president that we don't. Trump, the 45th president of the United States, has contracted by, uh, HI, <laughs> and contracted uh, H1. <laughs> You'd think that news anchors are trained to have crisp, flowing vocabulary. But more often than not, this happens. Of the Samadhama, I'm sorry, Mahasabadama, Mahacharya, Maharaj. This is a did. did, did, did. These days, news stations are using more and more live shots to keep the segments fresh and the viewers engaged. There's one slight problem, though. The Action News 5's Kelly Roberts is live this morning. Kelly, can you tell us what you're seeing? Hey, good morning, Ariana. This is going to be the death of me. It's a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm on now. Everybody has a different side to them, and this news anchor seems to be able to switch really quickly. Joyce Evans for the Channel 6 10 o'clock news. We get out of this joint. Forget Jake Paul, viewers of this Filipino news channel got to witness an actually entertaining boxing match. If you ever fumble your words, take a page out of this reporter's book and try his tried and true method. <laughs> When Michelle Clark was interviewed to describe the hailstorm that rolled through her Texas neighborhood, she didn't hold back. He said, Kapuya, Kapuya! And your boy, that hell just came in. I looked at my open my door and I looked out my door and started hitting me in my head. I took out running, and ran to my red shoe, but then I called my mama to see what she all right. When your friend is on FaceTime and he really don't want to be seen. This talk show guest was a little too eager to get to the stage. Buckle down on what we needed to do and uh, came out to execute. Go dry off. <laughs> <laughs> Some news segments are more interesting than others, and Tucker Carlson can certainly vouch for that. <laughs> He's really asleep. I don't think we're being good co hosts right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Sometimes reporters have just had enough. A couple of days here, Wednesday through Friday, zero percent percent. What am I from Texas? Hold oh, yeah. on. <laughs> Take your hand, okay. wave it over the key. No. Jesus. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh my goodness. That's that's. Oh, you you have the key though. You do have the key still. Oh my goodness. That's, 
From equipment malfunctions to passerbys who want their minute of fame, live stand-ups are known to be one of the hardest aspects of reporting. It's affected so many people from those Oakland parents uh, up to the strangers who felt compelled tonight in Walnut Creek to come together. At the location where he dropped his police on the A quarter million people attending are safe. <laughs> But what's worse than forgetting that you're live? Forgetting that you're live from home. Guys, quiet or I'm blocking Fortnite. Los Angeles meteorologist Liberty Chan was forced to wear a sweater during her weather report after viewers complained about her outfits. Place tonight and even into tomorrow. What's going on? Whatever. You want me to put this on? Why? Because it's cold. Get a lot of emails. What? What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments. I look like a librarian now. I need Wooden chairs certainly aren't the most durable, and this TV guest learned that firsthand. <laughs> News reporter Bantu Holomisa almost taught viewers a very important life lesson, but then stopped himself as perhaps the world wasn't ready for such wise words. As the adage says, you give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day, you teach him to, f to fish, you give him, you give him an... Uh, no, no. This reporter completely blows the blondes or dumb stereotype out of the water with her superb delivery and knowledge of the subject. What day is it? Oh, it's Wednesday. I think. If you ever feel embarrassed about a stain on your shirt or lettuce in your teeth, just remember this woman absolutely owning her failed eyelashes live on TV. <laughs> Seems like Katy Perry took inspiration from this guy's interview for her hit song, Firework. It's take quite a long time to make change, even the best one in the world. Plastic bag. You know, I had an interesting talk with offensive coordinator Tom Cook. Get to Niagara Falls at 7.30, Buffalo around 8.30, hamburger 9 o'clock. This reporter thought he'd have some fun tossing pumpkins at polar bears, but he ended up giving them a little extra surprise too. Now, will they eat the whole pumpkin? We hope so. Oh, look, it's floating. Okay, will the, will the girls go in the water? One, two, three. And Nook Shook might go for that one. Don't worry, ladies, we got one more. Here we go, ladies. Three, two, one, pop. <laughs> Did his mic go in? Yeah, he threw yeah, his yeah. mic in. I yeah, can't believe yeah. it. With the European Commissioner's President Jean-Claude Juncker was very eager to shake hands with Hungary's Prime Minister. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. During a news segment about a woman who incredibly survived a lightning strike, things didn't really go to plan. Thankfully, CPR from her mom revived her heart, but she laid in a coma for two weeks, and then she defied all odds and woke up. I, 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 I should buy a Well, obviously, there was a problem with that tape. She doesn't really sound like that. She doesn't remember the accident, but the evidence is clear. Late night snack cravings happen to the best of us, but this guy took it a little too far when he broke into a bank to use their microwave and heat up a Hot Pocket. You did that for a Hot Pocket? Yes, only you, for a Hot Pocket. You broke into a bank for a Hot Pocket? Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. A hot pocket, hell yeah. When a news channel played the wrong clip over the segment the anchor was reading, it got pretty embarrassing. Great news regarding Bill's tight end, Kevin Everett. He moved his arms and legs today. And doctors now believe that's the wrong video, by the way. That is not the right video. When Rich DeMiro was advertising a pair of wireless headphones on live TV, the host passes a comment about AirPods, and it got hilariously awkward. If you have an Android phone, these are definitely something that's going to give you a similar experience. Back to you. 
All right, thank you so much. I do really like the AirPod Pros though, and it's for the noise canceling. So the noise canceling is like number one priority for me. All right, thanks. <laughs> also in your consumer news. <laughs> When congratulating a blind contestant during American Idol, the host seemed to forget a pretty crucial aspect of being blind. Let's see where it goes. I'm pumped. <laughs> As you should be. Well, I'm giving you a high five. Congratulations. There it is. Matt Stutzman managed to take first place in archery during the Paralympics. However, the whole medal interaction was hilariously awkward. You would think that anchors tasked with reporting on the more serious matters would be well versed, right? Well, not always. Recognize and act on their gut feelings or instincts. If something feels wrong, it. Blah, 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 blah. Well, if you or someone you know. Two teachers here at Clinton Avenue Elementary in New Haven are being investigated for. It's a lot to remember, because I'm stupid. Um, Obviously, a problem with that tape, the wrong tape loaded in there. We'll get back to that in a minute. In the meantime, coming up. Being interviewed on live TV gets pretty nerve wracking. I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. And can cause you to fumble your words. This guy's story makes perfect sense, though. Yeah, uh, I heard the leg was slightly in the water. I mean, when they were coming out, like, they dipping in. It, it was pretty rough out there. Um, I didn't know for one thing. What were you talking about again? Uh, and, 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 I know. Rock the right here. Most people have that one friend who speaks a little too fast and just doesn't make sense. This reporter is a prime example. Here's Joe with your first alert, traffic. No issues for you heading out the door in Sylvania. That's your nimble first alert, traffic. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? Thank you for joining us this morning. When reporter Aaron Andrews was doing a segment on Fox, a man behind her seemed to be having war flashbacks. What other artists are going to be joining Bruno Mars during the halftime show? So I'm excited to hear about that. Hopefully, I can lead them and study next time. Can you talk to our little sons? When the South Carolina flood hit, this woman set her priorities straight and only grabbed the essentials from her house. Did you grab anything when you walked out the door? I grabbed nothing but two Tortino's pizza out of the refrigerator and my doggie, and we left. Talk about a rough day at work. This reporter got knocked in the back of the head by a skateboard. Traditional skateboard. Oh, Dogs are man's best friend, right? Not when doing a live report from home. Condensed season can still happen. Dixie, stop. This reminds me of when I was a kid. I'd duck under my mom when she was on FaceTime with her friends because I didn't want to say hi. Yep, at six. And Ida will be with us as well. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Welcome to the show. It's a little I TV show we're so doing. We're doing live TV. When reporter Chris Lee from North Carolina challenged a cheerleader to a toe touch competition, this happened. Don't split your pants, honey. I'm worried about your pants. <laughs> When Guad Venegas was reporting from the Santa Monica boardwalk, the attention wasn't focused on him. I know that these changes are happening. When this meteorologist had a little wardrobe malfunction, she brought on her co-worker and did this. I'm always honest to be a meteorologist, but that is okay. This is going to be great. All right, Golden Lake, we got to switch this with us because we're just blocking the picture. Okay, so again, you see a kind of a hazy sky out there, a little bit of a breeze. Temperature right now, you want to tell the phone? Uh, yeah, 49 okay. degrees, 49 oh, degrees. Uh, oh, you got it. Which yeah. one am I doing now? No, we're good. You're oh. doing at 7. Okay. 17 point at 41. Again, that moisture in the atmosphere, you kind of felt the mugginess yesterday. Yeah. yeah it's still out there. That's why we have the haze out there this morning. All right, temperatures elsewhere. Low to mid 40s to about 50 degrees across the earth. Starting to see things warm back up here now. I need to try to turn so I can get it back in your oh, microphone. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. They say that dogs are man's best friend. They just might be this reporter's only friend, though. Okay, hi, bud. All right, we are seeing one. That was what it feels like. And as it... 
<laughs> hey, oh gosh, you really want to play. <laughs> okay, future temperatures bring highs. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> At least out on the southwest Saturday. All right, 30, 26 tonight. It'll get a little bit the fake throw at work. When Michael Putney tried to interview Florida candidate Lamar Sturdan's wife, he got a pretty cool surprise. Michael Putney was trying to kill <laughs> We reporters can be unwelcome guests sometimes, and today was no exception. When a meteorologist on Fox 5 News asked a young boy what the best firework to buy is, he unknowingly walked into one of the greatest comebacks of the decade. Here's an actual customer out here. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? It arches up when high pressure is building in, and it deflects and falls downward when you have an area of low pressure in the area, and it's just going straight out because yesterday we were kind of in between systems. So it really does work. It does. So <laughs> That's how I forecast weather, okay? Keep your... Uh, Keep your pictures coming to KPIX. Okay, now I got it. I should have done this at the end of the weather cast, obviously. <laughs> While doing a windy live shot, NBC reporter Kristen Welker put her dodging skills to the test. Exactly clear. It's a little windy out here, Andrea. The Attorney General was talking oh about what specifically they would be Crystal, able to please. do. We're, we're okay. Kristen, it's okay. Take and they it, fell take in front of me, so Wait. it's okay. It's not every day that you get to interview a professional NFL running back who's earned over $100 million. <laughs> Just watch what happens when he realizes. I try to avoid any type of road rage. You know, you've seen anyone that's, you know, kind of, you know, heckling you on the road. You know, just go around them and, you know, just let them win. You know, your life is, is too short to be on the highway, you know, swerving in front of people or, or speeding up, trying to catch up to people. It's, you never know what people, how they will react to it. Absolutely. All right, your name? Adrian Peterson. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I knew you were. If you are scared of animals, you might not want to host a live show with animals. Tyra Banks learned that firsthand. This guy now, this one you might not want to pet because oh they're spiky. Oh my god! Oh my god! Now. Oh my god. <laughs> We're living in 2021, but this guy's living in 2031 with his double-sided microphone. For ice cream today, Patrick. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. It's uh, it's gorgeous up here. Uh... <laughs> Is that a magic trick? <laughs> <laughs> Go to the maps. Go to the maps. <laughs> Employees and even district administrators all set to get raises based on a school board vote happening tonight. We're bringing you the details. They're coming up next. Your Fox 24 News at 7. We'll be right back. This news channel's cameraman deserves a raise. Or not. It might be enough to produce some rain showers. <laughs> and it looks like we might have some snow that day. Oh. No way. I know. That's April 7th. I know. Sorry. Worst winter it's ever. Rena's gone. Worst <laughs> winter ever. <laughs> People have been video bombing news reporters since their inception. I think this one takes the crown, though. Last Saturday, the Panthers didn't look very good against Iowa State. Presidential candidates roaming around like we needed more craziness out here with all the tailgating and all the spirit there is out here. <laughs> But uh, it's it's the Cy Hawk game. I guess anything goes. This beauty pageant contestant clearly did not agree with the judge's decision. She attacked the winner, pulling off her crown and screaming furiously. Ukrainian TV news reporter Marichka Padalko displayed true professionalism on live TV. She lost her tooth live on air, but she handled it like a pro, barely stopping for a second. 
харчування пів 10 липня. You have to be careful about what you say on live TV. And when you're around Mindy Kaling, you just cannot be careful enough. George Stephanopoulos walked right into this one, interviewing Kaling on Good Morning America about her role in the Pixar movie Inside Out. It's amazing. My girls were completely engrossed by it when we were watching it. Because <laughs> it, it really does make you feel like you're inside this 11-year-old girl. In a profoundly wholesome way. It can be stressful dressing up for a formal occasion, and when the event is held at Buckingham Palace, the pressure is greater. Her Majesty was caught with a look of disgust on her face when she saw the Turkish First Lady's footwear. The gorgeous Christine Lopez, also known as Philippines Miss Universe, had some solid advice to give to victims of cyberbullying. What piece of advice would you give to victims of cyberbullying? I think the best advice I would give to cyberbullying is, um, I mean, the best advice I would give to cyber, to cyberbullying is um is um um I'm sorry. Okay. I think the best advice I would give I would give to cyber bullying is to love your mom. If you think vegans take themselves a little too seriously, meet this woman who claims she had managed to turn her dog into a vegetarian. She confidently claimed it would go for the bowl full of vegetables instead of the meat one. And that's when the show host decided to put it to the test. Got two bowls here, right? Oh, no. One is full of vegetables <laughs> and one is full of meat. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Oh, she's obviously going to go, obviously. Oh, you little... Yes. I didn't swear. Oh, <laughs> and there is oh, no. natural oh, selection. No. When Kevin Donnelly was interviewing Kristen Bell on the red carpet at the premiere of The Boss, he was being rude to her, and she did this. You're in this, you're the boss, she's not, who's the boss in this? I don't really care, Kristen. Okay. Well, baby, 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 don't keep it. Kristen, it's really okay. I when it comes to drama, American politics never failed to deliver. The Trumps particularly always managed to stir up some content. This frosty look Melania Trump gives Ivanka Trump at RNC had observers gossiping all sorts of rumors. Ilinka Vandici, the host of a Romanian fashion reality show, made an absolute fool out of herself when she was caught on air flashing her audience. When a guy came over to help her out, it was revealed that she thought there was a spider in her skirt and so felt the need to raise it. The one thing more embarrassing than falling out of a chair on live TV is being pushed out of it by the host herself. On The Laura Ingram Show, Raymond Arroyo was taking a selfie with the host when he fell down with a thud. Go to the edge. Wait, wait, the angle. Go to the edge. Oh, wow. The ACLU used to care about the rights of accused, but with Kevin... A news reporter was doing a report in the street on Czech television when this homeless man appeared to fall into a garbage can behind her. Rapper Marshall Pope should have chosen to practice a little before being asked to freestyle on live TV. He appeared on Talk of Alabama to show off his superb freestyle skills. Freestyle? Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. Years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to put me in the... This is live. Mm -hmm. 
Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. Okay. These joggers got more than they bargained for on a Portland street. After talking with KOIN6 News about jogging in the snow, this couple took off but didn't get very far. Yeah, we're both California kids, so we haven't had many snow days in our life, so this is pretty exciting. All right, we'll go ahead and keep on the run. I'm sorry to have kept you, but I appreciate you guys talking with us. All right, thanks. We've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops. One thing, oops. That could happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. WPLG senior political reporter Michael Putney was attempting to get a comment from a former candidate who was under investigation for campaign improprieties. However, to his surprise, the man's wife threw water on him immediately after opening the door. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Michael Putney with Channel 10. WPLG senior political a professional chef by the name of John Torode almost set fire to his whole kitchen while cooking a breakfast muffin on live TV. Hilariously, it required a lot of screaming to get John to notice the disaster he had made. Put your muffins John, in the toaster. Put your cookers on fire. Tea turn around, on fire. Turn around. Behind you, cooker. Behind you, John, you're on fire. Fire, oh, John. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> This old man went a little overboard trying to imitate his encounter with some barking dogs. And I just made it. American NASCAR driver Ryan Blaney was trying to get a sip from his water bottle in a post-game interview, but he seemed to forget the current times we're living in. Speed, but we're right there. I'm, I'm uh, really proud of this team. Yeah, getting close. It's coming. Ryan Blaney, third tonight. <laughs> NBC 12 morning anchor Eric Phillips had a little bit of slip up on live TV when he asked the viewers to check their panties for a recall. Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> Check your panties. We all know how awkward it can get when you don't know whether to push or pull on a door. Well, for this FBI agent, it was a little more complicated. FBI agents, parts of the terrorism task force, NYPD converged on that apartment building. Now, the media had been knocking on her door since early this morning. In fact, we were here out. When put on the spot, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg accidentally let out his secret. But it is going to bother you because you're human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, it, but I was just referring to myself in the past. Um, not that I Computer technician Guy Goma went to the BBC for a job interview, but was accidentally mistaken for Guy Cooney, a music industry expert who is going to be answering questions live on TV. Goma handled it like a champ and hilariously went along with it. So what does this all mean for the industry and the growth of music online? Well, Guy Cooney is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, with regards to uh, the cost that's in, in, involved, um, do you think uh, now more people will be downloading online? Uh, actually, if you can go everywhere, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of people downloading uh, to the internet uh, and the website, uh, everything they want. It's much better for the development and uh, to improve people what uh, they want and to get uh, on the easy way and so fast uh, the things they're looking for. Reporters do their best to conceal the fact they're reading off a teleprompter. However, it's important that there are no punctuation or grammar mistakes. Otherwise, this happens. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered and then set on fire while celebrating his birthday. Singer Beyonce wanted to let one of her fans join in at a concert. Safe to say, this fan won't be getting a record label anytime soon. When Jay Leno was interviewing students to test their general knowledge, things didn't go too well for this girl. How's the school system in Arkansas? It's awesome. It's good. Mm -hmm. right, let's, see how, really good. let's see how good it is. If you met some people from Denmark, what, are they, what would they be called? Denmark. A group of people from Denmark would be called... Jewish people. Jewish people. <laughs> What started as a regular interview took a turn for the worse, leaving this journalist in a pretty uncomfortable situation. Let me tell you my name. Uh, I'm confused because uh, I'm a nobody. You understand? So why am I afraid? I'm not afraid. 
I'm afraid of the boogeyman. Who's the boogeyman? You figure it out. <clears throat> I'm not going to raise my voice. Lip syncing is something that a lot of artists actually do, but most mask it pretty well. The same can't be said for this singer, though. After this air, they announced that she was indeed singing and the mic was just double-sided. Yeah, sure. During a popular Japanese game show called Brain Walls, contestants attempt to create a shape with their body in order to get through the hole in the wall. Well, one of the contestants' techniques was rather, um, interesting. When Howard of the Mr. Food Test Kitchen was showing off his latest recipe, things got a little uncomfortable. I'm Howard of the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found an October festival way. For you to say, ooh, it's so good. You might want some music or something else for the party in addition to that. But it looked good, didn't it? It, it looked good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what kind of party you're throwing. Sausage party. Right. When this reporter's phone rang mid-broadcast, he dealt with it in a pretty, um, unique way. Mm. Rất là khó when a shopping channel presenter was showcasing the strength of a plasma screen TV, his sales pitch didn't really go to plan. Plasma TV. And I'm going to do something now that makes a lot of people shy away and get quite angry. Oh, I've broken it. Look at that. It's, I think it's because I've done it so many times today. You've been today. hammering I've it. I've been hammering it all day and now I've done it, but oh, there you go. no, because this there was a go. great big side. When showing off a new slide attraction, this reporter made sure to bless all the headphone users at home. <laughs> When this man was doing a live stand-up, he didn't expect this to happen. Things were going perfectly well during a QVC ad for the Aerobed mattress. That's until the saleswoman made a remark and instantly jinxed herself. We used to always let the dogs come and sleep with it on the Aero mattress too or at the Aerobed because it works. Yeah, so that, this one is actually 40% more puncture resistant. So if yeah, you've got pets really. love it and I have people. Here's why you shouldn't use your phone while walking. Health professor Dr. William Schaffner tried his best to hold in his cough during an interview for CNN. Um, and I, and I, you know, wasn't, it was unclear how he defined that in terms of overall numbers or growth per day, and num right whether your numbers start to come down or not. Um, but the U.S. Surgeon General. Seems like more often than not, news reporters aren't aware that they're actually live. Good morning, Carolina. We kind of match. We both have red on. I know. We keep doing that. It cracks me up. I know. Um, We're we did the purples. Yeah. I wore blue yesterday. Oh. Welcome back. Basketball legend Shaquille O'Neal is certainly a strong individual. Well, if you want to take him down, you'll just need a monitor and a wire. This is obvious. Get him, Kenny. Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. You hey. set me up, Ernie. Hey. What do you mean, me? Hey. You set me up, Ernie. Hey. You set me up, What do you think it sounded like when the giant hit the floor? Let us know in the comments. Wrong answers only. Have you ever been in a situation where you just can't say something no matter how many times you try? This news anchor sure has. Oh my god. 
<laughs> okay, I need to go to bed. For now, live. I'm not live! Oh! oh. <laughs> The next step for this bill is to head to the House of Representatives for further... Ah! When announcing the best TV show during the BBC Teen Awards, Jimma Collins made quite the exit off the stage. TV presenter Lisa Guerrero decided to test whether an apparent psychic actually had abilities or if she was just a scammer. Safe to say, it got pretty embarrassing. One of the first things I do in a case, Lisa, is I always make sure people know that if I feel the person is living or not. And so you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member, when you start a case, you'll know if this person is dead or yes. alive. And that's the point. Is that Every I, time. Yes. But apparently her psychic abilities didn't see this coming. Lori, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Okay. Yes. Does this girl look familiar to yes, you? Yes, she does. I worked this case. This little girl is me. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? How do you explain being completely wrong? I can't wrong? explain it. I can't explain it. You're charging them hundreds of dollars. Okay. You know what, dear? Hundreds of dollars. Done. You're taking advantage of okay. desperate people with a bunch of hocus okay. pocus, aren't you? No, I'm not. I think we'll go. Thank you. It's been an interesting experience. You all have a lovely, lovely evening. On the what? try to get to Paul after this. Look who came down this morning. I don't know if we can see Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Guys, back to you. Ha <laughs> so wow. cute. Ruby looks different than the last time I, I saw her. Ruby's been eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby's not missing any meals. We all have. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> I was trying to be so nice. You're like, Ruby looks different. <laughs> A bike delivery man had the spotlight on him during this live stand-up. Not for the right reasons, though. În plus, tot din această seară, oamenii pot circula liber și fără o declarație pe proprie răspundere până la ora 10. Sunt așadar efectele relaxate. When Anglia News' Emma Baker forgot she was live, the news segment got pretty interesting. Was, is this your wife or um, Jan? Because you're always talking to her. What? I, I was being serious. Good morning, welcome to Anglia News. Golf isn't the most action-packed sport to watch, and golf speeches certainly aren't any better. However, Jungle Man over here spiced things up. That was kind of the difference. I got off to a slow start, but I knew that I'm... I, I, I knew... When an extremely tall woman was giving a speech at LAX, things went from bad to worse. Right now, Tina Marie Lindsay. Hold on one second, please. We'll take questions after, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I want to let everyone know that technically LAX is still accepting incoming flights, but we are doing that at less than our half of our normal arrival rate. We are only accepting those flights on the south air front. We're not accepting. The folks living in this household forgot to give all family members a heads up about the surprise camera crew invading their home. <laughs> Demonstrating speed guns on live TV isn't easy, especially when your stuntman launches into mid-air up on takeoff. This guy's two minutes of fame didn't go very well. How was it, Max? Hello. 
I will say that. Oh, sorry, sorry. I've got so much noise, Cara, in here as well. No, it was brilliant, thank you. Yeah? Best bits? Hello! <laughs> Mira, depende también del clima, depende también de su condición hormonal, de todo su sistema hormonal, que cambia y varía de humedad. Ni Pauli, vente, no, no, no ni no, Pauli, no. No, 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 tranquila, 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 tranquila. No muevan, no muevan, no muevan, no muevan, no muevan. No pasó nada, no pasó nada. Miren, déjenme contarles, es una cachorra. Never met someone so bad at English. They couldn't stop laughing at themselves. All my uh, fellow Filipinos. Now this is my side. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. <laughs> all I can say is all is well, and we're expecting light at the end of the toilet, inshallah. In the, the, in, in, at the end of the Tunnel, not toilet. Selling a ladder on live television is no easy task when your assistant forgets how to use one. I gotta tell you something, I have this ladder, it mm -hmm. is awesome. Everybody wants this ladder. I live in an apartment with um, vaulted ceilings. Uh oh. Okay, we're gonna make sure that Chris is okay. Yep. And that has never happened. He's moving, he is okay. Danny Shaw, who joins us now. Good evening, Daddy. Uh, Danny, thank you for being here. Hosting two politicians with a bad temper. Make sure your table is not a second-hand DIY. There are many ways to think a blind man on a talk show. This is not one of them. Muito obrigada pela sua participação. Hi. Thank you very much for your participation. Thank you. Mark, how are you feeling out there? Uh, again, uh, the same way I felt about eight minutes ago when you asked me that same question. I normally do sports. Uh, everything is canceled here for the next couple of days. So what better time to ask the sports guy to come in about five hours earlier than he would normally wake up Go stand out in the wind and the snow and the cold and tell other people not to do the same. Something, even like just movies. Welcome I, I back. Movie theaters are gonna make it come. Hey, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens, right? <laughs> We're on TV, aren't we? Yeah, we sure are. Expand them and their terrorists, terror, 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 terror. This live TV footage showcases the three different categories of German personality types. Oh, oh. Ah. oh Entschuldigung, ich bin. Oh, ich bin erschrocken. Ich bin so erschrocken. Ja, ich That's the most important thing of all, winning the trust of people that have put their trust in us, many of them for the first time, and Boris will have my full support as he does that. Well, I don't know why he's talking to a tree. Winning. Look at this dude. <laughs> for a news reporter, Mother Nature is always a formidable enemy. Go, 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 go. Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> Hurricane Hillary has become so dramatic, civilians might receive unusual orders to evaporate. It haven't really hit our parking lot yet, so it really ain't affecting me yet. But once it do hit that, they probably gonna tell us to evaporate, and then that's what gets on my nerves all the time. This little guy must be spending too much time on the internet. So my man here did so well on his test, he just wanted some hand lotion and we went up and got it, but now they're closing. Now let me ask you, 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 you got good marks and you, and you wanted hand lotion? I guess because it's cold, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> These dogs seem to have orchestrated this whole spectacle from before. Yeah. At the end of it, which oh. is really fun. Oh my god, he's Oh no! Dr. Scott, someone behind you is just... 
been dragged in. Remember, news anchors, if the public doesn't poke fun at you, your fellow anchors will. Location is ready to serve Saskatoon's community better. And this morning, Janella getting a tour. Mere record wind speeds that we've been experiencing this morning. Yes, Jeremy. You see that? You Can see you like do a little that? chair trick again? <laughs> it's in a poor spot. What do you want me? I just moved so my you foot. caught it with your heel? I did. I just adjusted my uh, feet and away I went. What's more chaotic? The crazy supporter in the back or the reporter failing to catch him? And of course, we have a situation where we're going to get you downstairs. Watch as the two presenters on this cooking show proudly unveil their apple crumble, complete with a touch of mold. Uh, which was never available before. He's showing you right now. You can also choose the cinnamon, which has been a customer favorite. Uh, people here are obviously watching exactly what's happened. Um, what do you think about what's happening behind you? I think it's on fire. Yeah, that's very good observation. Yeah. Might move on to somebody else. I'm Scott Mattis, live in Hernando, Mississippi, where there's been spottings of a cougar, and that's not it. That looks like a house cat. Facing live technical difficulties is bad, but becoming one? That's every presenter's nightmare. On live TV, news anchors usually keep it professional and hide any resentment they may have for each other. All right, it's back to you, Jim. Ollie, uh, don't let her go away. This, uh, that's, uh, what, does she have a response to that? Is she still there? The lady just leave? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. These reporters, on the other hand, decided to take a different course of action. So what do you want now? Well, if I have to teach you how to be a reporter, Ollie, I'll do that later. Oh, why don't you do that later, Jim? Uh, I think the lady expressed herself. Is there any question you'd like me to ask her? Uh, no, I, I, I'll, I'll give you lessons on how to become a reporter later no, I'll on. give you some lessons on how to be an editor because I was your boss once. Yeah, you were and are no longer. How did that happen? This guy had been trying to dodge someone he owed money to for years, but when it's live TV, there's no escape. To, 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 to. To, to, to stay to stay to stay outside some of the uh, structures that are there are like 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 this one it 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 it, it, it end up it end up um Justice. Oh, something's in my eye. Sorry, something's poking me. I think something flew into my eye. And now for everything that could go wrong on live TV in 30 seconds. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this. Woo! We better hold on to that camera because I feel like we are going to get blown. <laughs> Sorry, I think something flew into my mouth. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Hey, have you ever read The Brief History of Time by Professor Stephen Hawking? Oh, wait. A Brief History of Time. It's a history. It's a study into black holes. Um, no, Stephen I'm not Hawking. interested in no. that. Sorry. Do you know Pythagoras' theorem to the nearest five no. decimal places? Do you? What's your favourite colour? Do you? Colour. Colour. Do you know um, the, the Pythagoras theorem to the I nearest actually, five yeah. decimal places? 3.147 is certainly the first four digits. Oh. <laughs> Well, then why are you here? Do you like Chicago Sky? Looks like you do. This little guy heard the word buffet and ended up at a sports event he knew nothing about. You've never heard of Sky basketball, the women's team? No. You know they won the championship, right? No. You didn't know that? Well, now you do. No, I do, but I still don't really know anything else. All right, do you know who the Sky is playing today? No. What are you looking forward to today with this group? The buffet. We should get you on the court today, huh? Okay. Let me see how you shoot your threes. I don't shoot threes. So what do you do for a living, please? I gym. You, gym is not a work. I said, what do you do for a living? And uh, your favorite dish? My favorite dish? I like mugs because they're very comfortable in your hand. And I've been to France. It's beautiful. I hate it by such a song. I hate it go. I love a croissant. I love an omelette. Du fromage. This is the awkward moment when Harris thought Joe Buck was offering him a handshake. You're no stranger to uh, professional sports teams. Managing general partner of... Thought American political debates lasted too long? Check out a standard debate in Uganda. Honorable Mafavi, did you say you don't wear short-sleeved shirts? I don't Rather long sleeve? No, I wear short sleeve. Do you want me to remove my jacket and I say? You, you, you see that? Where? Do you want to see that? When? Who is that? When is that? Who is that? No, when is that? Who is that? No, no, I want you to tell me when is that? Who is that? Tell me, when is that? We'll take a break. Even the most experienced pros can crack under pressure. Fox 5 Morning News starts. Look over there. And it starts right now. Oh. Oh. So 
the crash, the, the, woo, the disabled vehicle. <laughs> that sounded like a DJ scratch. Did it, did it, did it. This guy might have chosen a slightly inappropriate time to kickstart his rapping career. It's the geezer. Put the cans in the freezer. And Robinson. <laughs> and Robinson. And the freezer. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. We don't do that. Fantastic. Okay. Boom. I've got all the letters, Susie. Blood clot. Fantastic. So what do I win, eh? Um, that's not a word. That's a word? You're a bit moody, aren't you? Come on, give us a smile. That's not a word. This Fox 9 meteorologist was shocked to find out she'd been assembling a whole army of Jennifers on live television. Ooh, that's funky. What is going... Ooh! <laughs> I don't really know what's going on! Do you guys want one Jennifer or two Jennifer? <laughs> News reporters face many challenges. Some have technical issues, some misplace their cameramen. On top of that, this guy had to endure English soccer fans for the ultimate humiliation. É a primeira vez que o Braga disputa a Champions League a essa temporada. Valeu. What's more heated than opposing politicians debating on live TV? How about brothers debating? Your problem is with the curfew. It's the least of your well, problems, just so you know. I never fight. You violated the curfew all the time. Caused much pain, but that's a different story. I don't believe in rules. Governor Andrew Cuomo, I appreciate yeah. you coming on the show. Thank you. I love you. I'm proud of what you're doing. I know you're working hard for your state, but no matter how hard you're working, there's always time to call mom. She wants to hear from you, just so you know. I called mom just Not before I came on the show. This cameraman's clearly a fan of impromptu guest appearances. Her money and cards were stolen. Police say they are investigating whether Wilson was responsible. The plea from Okala Chakri was in connection to a $200,000 heist at a coal federal credit union in 2019. That's it, I'm out of here. He was arrested. Planning to call in sick and hit the beach? Just pray you're nowhere next to this cameraman. I want to show you though, uh, you're not going to find many cars on the beach uh, today and that's because, take a look at the, the tide here, it's pretty high right now and this is right where the beach ramp is, it's very close, yeah. so that water has just been coming up and coming up. Seems like these reporters are taking full advantage of the free drinks backstage. We had a very Darrison Bite and let's go to Terrace Chase and let's go the bit to have the pet. Trying to play it cool on live TV. Oh. Sorry, but it doesn't seem like it's working. <laughs> this is one of those rare occasions when your music decides to stop listening to you. Uh, he did utilize the other two guys on his roster. Give a good junk ring road, Comedian Justin Willman attempted to do his appearing booze trick at the 2013 Big Live Comedy Show. Spoiler alert, the booze played hide and seek instead. This is the appearing booze chamber. How fitting, how fitting. So Can excited I get an ooh, for ah? this. Ooh. Jenny, do you have a free hand? Hold the pitcher if you could in your left hand. Nice. And then just kind of slide it in there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put my yeah, yeah, perfect. Down, down, down. Nice, perfect. And then hold the mic here. And then if you guys could like hold your hands up and name a drink, Norm, what'd you say? I would say like Wild Turkey 101. Wa all right, we, we shall fill the picture with Wild Turkey 101. If people on, on YouTube can kind of hold their hands up to the computer would be good. This is absolutely necessary. This is though. absolutely necessary. And just watch the picture. It'll gradually fill. Make sure you see the picture. It'll just... Oh. What the f***? There's no alcohol in what, there. That was what the wild. F happened? Yeah, put it down. God damn! What was that? A misdirection? Is that or wild? Shit? Oh, I'm still waiting for the booze. Um, yeah, the booze will come. I'll call a waiter. We'll and call I'm a guy. just how 
well do you think you could identify your own pet, like in a lineup? You'd be like, yep, that's it. Listen to this. A family in Virginia mistakenly brought home the wrong golden retriever. So they dropped the dog off, named Emmy, at a doggy daycare. During that visit, they opted for the grooming service. Then they had their son pick up the dog at the end of the day. Initially, the family said something was different, but they thought, eh, it's just the haircut, right? Then they noticed other things. The cats started attacking the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Their dog does not normally lick faces, but this one did. And Emmy loved a certain neighbor, but the new dog, the, you know, not their dog, didn't have much of a reaction to that neighbor. The family assumed the dog was sick, so they took the dog to the what? vet. Sure <laughs> enough, the microchip scan proved that it was not Emmy. Sometimes unexpected breaking news happens whilst you're reporting breaking news. Uh, uh, Kurdish, excuse me, my, my kids are here. Live television. How do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting, shifting sands in the region. Do you think relations with the North may change? The, um, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> what was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, um, North Korea, North, uh, South. There'll be patchy rain over there. Get ready, go. All right, <laughs> go. Oh! Oh my Reporting live news without checking the neighborhood first? Not the brightest idea. Right, the kitchen. Как думаете, как кичир переводится с татарского языка? А пока вы думаете, мы перейдем к следующему памятнику. Он на... If you're going to commit a crime, wait until your haircut is finished. A Connecticut man didn't heed that advice and now his mugshot has captured the nation's attention. Take a look at this. Investigators say David Davis was in the middle of a haircut when he got into a scuffle with another guy. Laughing uncontrollably during a serious news story. The quickest way to lose your job. Well, I'm not laughing at this story. No. Is the story is serious, <laughs> but man, I apologize. <laughs> I can't. So this is a one of a kind piece. There's no other one like this particular one in the world. And you can see the tracks go this way. And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than. Oh, shit. Self-driving cars. They can drive, just not well. I'm joined by Brad Tolberg, and we are here. Okay, the wind is blowing, the wind is blowing such that I'm able to skate backwards with absolutely no effort whatsoever. Just okay. Okay, ow. Okay. Rule number one of uncontrollable laughter is don't look at the other person, especially if you're on live television. It's hilarious. Todd's <laughs> about to lose it. Oh, but seriously, what a sassy dog. I can't. Look, the boss. <laughs> Thomas Thwaites had a set of prosthetic legs built and spent three days living among goats in the Alps. He did it because he, he wanted a simpler life. Here in Vilnius, he's going to be taking part in an... <coughs> I just ate a fly. <coughs> and there's a special affection. Oh, put out there. <laughs> and now, Big Central's clip of the day. Today, Flossie's family is going to be coming out here to throw you a big birthday party. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. <laughs> Wendy Birch in the middle of the action. Good morning. Yeah. I once had a dream like this that I was in the middle of a mosh pit with a lot of people who were drinking. Where's your beer? Hi, how are you? No, 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 no. Come on over here, my friend. Welcome to Iron like, Man. It looks like you've been training for this for some time. I've been doing this for about 25 years. Live TV proposals typically leave everyone in tears. When the boyfriend forgets to clock in his emotions at work, however, things could get a little awkward. You're the best thing that's happened to me in the past seven years, and I've asked you along here today and some of your work colleagues to ask if you will marry me. Yeah, I, 
I, I tell you, it came on quick. And, and thankfully, uh, you guys notified me. Our meteorology team in New York uh, sent me a, a ping on the phone that said, hey, get ready. You got you got a heck of a band coming through. This unintentional transition in the newsroom should become standard practice. But said some of the financial costs could have been avoided. Caroline, thank you. I think we had a problem with our camera there at the end. Who knew news anchors secretly practice yoga during breaks? Okay. One of our top stories uh, here. When interviewed about a neighborhood crash, this guy made sure we got every excruciating detail. And I heard a, a screeching, between a screech and a whistle. Ah! I said, what in the world is this? A good cameraman is one who knows when to awkwardly pan left when a presenter fails to do simple math. Matematika za početnike, ali nije strašno. Od danas pa narednih mesec dana u Beogradu, ali i širom Srbije, održava se četvrti put po redu manifestacija. The F-35C Lightning II demo team. Ooh, careful. And that's why people need to keep their umbrellas. Keep their umbrellas tied down. But already there's some uncertainty about what he was saying on benefits. Yes, Jeremy Corbyn, when he was asked... Just give us one sec, please. Jeremy Corbyn was asked whether he would end 